This video will look at steel columns within a run of a wall and show how this can affect the sound insulation of a partition. For example, if the partition provides an RW of 50 dB, this will reduce to around an RW of 25 dB at the position of the column which has no encasement. Typically, Giprock Duraline and Giprock Soundblock plasterboards are used on partitions which require good levels of sound insulation. OK, we're now going to look at low, medium and high acoustic details which can be used for columns within the run of a wall. First, we'll look at low acoustics with Glassrock F Firecase. As you can see, three sides of the column are encased with metal studs fixed in place, abutting up to the column. It is good practice to run Giprock sealant around partition junctions, as demonstrated here, to optimise sound insulation. Not doing this could downgrade the sound insulation of the partition. Continue to board the partition. By not insulating within the web of the steel column, this will downgrade the sound insulation at this point in the wall, as well as potential flanking sound round the column encasement. It is important to use the correct screws for fixing at 150mm centres, and not drywall screws, as the glass rock screw head is designed to counter sink into the board surface. You could not do this with drywall screws. An alternative system can be used called Gip Liner Encase, as demonstrated here. GL10 clips are placed on the column at 800mm centres, and GL1 sections clip on top of the GL10s. Short sections of GL1 are cut and tapped and fixed to the encasement at 600mm centres to enable fixing of the metal stud against the column. Again, when the board encasement is fixed in place, this creates a risk of potential flanking sound through the board on the encasement. By not insulating within the web of the steel column, this would again downgrade the sound insulation at this point in the wall. Moving on, let's take a look at some mid-acoustic details. This time, when we are using Glassrock F Firecase, we will insulate within the web of the steel as demonstrated here. We will close the column with Glassrock F Firecase by fixing at 150mm centres. Now we will progress to fix plasterboard to the same specification as it is on the walls to the column. The board is fixed in place with Giprock sealant as demonstrated here. Applying the same plasterboard density around the column, as we have on the wall, will improve the sound insulation of the finished wall. The same process can be followed to improve the sound insulation with Gip Liner Encase we demonstrated earlier. Finally, we'll take a look at some high acoustic details. Firstly, looking at the Gip Liner Encase system around the column. Having installed the insulation, we start to clad the column with plasterboard. We create a break in the boards which is concealed within the line of the partition. By doing this, we minimise any sound transfer through the plasterboard at this point, something which occurs called flanking sound. It is important to note that the double layer of plasterboard applied to the partition should be applied to the column to maintain the same plasterboard density. Finally, we progress to install the double layer of Giprock Soundblock or Giprock Duraline to the partition. This will depend on the system specification being used. Ultimately, if we want to eliminate any risk of sound loss where partitions butt into a column, we can include the columns within the partition system as shown here, and fully board the partition system both sides. Finally, it is important to note that you would need to seek further clarification in relation to fire performance requirements for steel work enclosed, or within the line of a partition system.